Today in this video, I'm gonna give you a tip that when you're putting in a Hunter wireless rain-free sensor, something you need to make sure you do, absolutely do, or it will not work. So I'm putting up a new controller here in this job, and I wanted to show you, we've got this wireless Hunter rain-free sensor. When you wire it in, you've got all these different wires that are gonna come in. You take the two yellows to your power, 24 VAC, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blue and your white and you're gonna put them in the sensor portals. But the biggest tip is when you're gonna do this, you can see right here, this little metal clip, this is a jumper. When you're gonna wire this in, you've gotta make sure you wanna take this out before you wire this in. If you leave this jumper in, even, it, even putting these wires in, the sensor will never trip the controller. So what happens when you've got this sensor and it, it either fills up with water and it, it clicks a little switch, or if it freezes and it clicks a switch, it actually breaks a common. It stops the controller from working at all. And so that way, if, it, if there was a freeze and it was gonna run, it won't let it run. And that's the purpose of having these rain-free sensors. Anytime it rains or freezes, it'll stop the controller from running. But if you leave this little jumper in there, the controller will never know that the sensor is tripped because this is still acting like the jumper and it's still in there. So when you're wiring in one of these sensors, take the jumper out and then you put the white in one terminal, you put the blue wire in the other terminal. Now one of the reasons I'm telling you this is because I want you to be able to wire these things in right so they work and they work like they're supposed to. The other reason I'm telling you this and this kind of comes up while I'm putting up this controller is for about two years in there, when I first got started, I did not know that. And I left all of those in there because I didn't know what it was. And so that answered the question later of why none of our rain-free sensors work. Because even jobs that we maintained that we installed, the sprinklers kept coming on. And I kept telling them, no, I put a rain-free sensor in. Well, I didn't wire it up right. And so I learned something and I have to admit, hey, I made a mistake I didn't know when I first got started. So if you're just now getting started, you wanna make sure you do this, you take that jumper out, and you're gonna be have a leg up on everybody else that's just getting started. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. Check out one of these other videos about irrigation installation and irrigation controllers. 